Hi, I'm Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to draw the Big Ben that is located in London and also in England. So what you're going to need is your materials is we have a paper, any type of paper would do. I have just this notepad paper. I have an eraser, a pencil, um, it's a sharpie, but it's really thin, a sharpie pen to outline, and um, some um, pencils, and then I always like to have my um, first draft for it because that's just like the way I can copy off of it and it's just the easiest way to do it. So first we're gonna get um, our notepad and our pencil. So I'm going to be trying to get this at the best angle as possible for you and me to see. And you guys all know that we start off very light. So first what we're going to do is we are going to start at the tippy tippy top which starts off as a tiny dot and in this one I am going to do a lot of detail so then you're going to bring a line down and make sure your pencil is sharpened bring, put a little square box there and then we are going to make this loop that not a loop that well this like curve lines that go out and the note the good view about the um note paper is that you can write do your perfect straight lines on it so I'm just gonna do that and then we're going to make two lines going up and another circle Oop. make sure those are even but not totally and if you want to you can have a ruler to make these straight lines but I do not so now that we've gotten it that down. We're going to make a line that goes halfway through. Okay, now we've got that done. This is another square box. Then we are going to make a line that pops out. Um, then we are going to make another curled out line that starts off much more thick. Let's see if I'm doing this correctly. Yes. And so now we're going to make that line. And actually what we're going to do is make this little curvy. And I'll show you what it looks like so far. So let's go back into it. So now that we've gotten our curvy line, we are going to draw another thing that pops out like another like I like to say this is a rectangle but a very thin one that pops out and it's still got those curve lines I'm just gonna outline those a little not outline but write a little bit more of those and then I'm going to draw a thinner one that goes under oops I'm actually going to make this a little bit more wide because I didn't and for the big Ben I'm going to be doing a lot of detail and then, now this is the most exciting part. This is going to be our main, like, part. This is going to be the, like, where the clock is placed. And, um, yes. So you can also go check out my website on how to draw famous landmarks.weebly.com and you will find out how to draw a bunch of other things and I also have more videos. So now we're going to make another box that pops out over here. And then lines going down, 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 connecting to there. And then we are going to do more, just a little bit in going across. And honestly, in my opinion, I do really better by just looking at a picture when I draw. And honestly, I'm just right now drawing for fun. I'm not the best drawer, so this is what we've got so far. And it kind of looks like a castle. So then, once you've gotten that part done, you're going to make these long lines that go down, 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 all the way to that mark, if you want to. 
my friend over here. Her name is Abby, and she's right now drawing like baby animals. So now it's time to start on the detail work, which I'm excited about. So first what we're going to do is with this, we're going to make lines going down. Make sure they're close together, like mine. And then we are also now going to do a little, huh. Yes, we are going to do like, Let's do little pumps. And we'll fill those in later because these are black. And then we're going to do dots. And that's what we've gotten so far. And then what we've got down here is um, nothing right here actually. And then what we have next is we have um, more squiggly lines. I'm doing three of them. And then we have even more humps. This is not exactly what the London Tower looks like. I've never seen it, but you know, you can always just look at pictures online. And then let's make like little squiggly lines out here. I'm not sure why, but the video I saw had little squiggly. So now over here, um, we have this bottom part, and it's kind of, if you look at it in a cool perspective, it does kind of look like a weird layered cake. And so we've got our square boxes, and why not we just do lines and do square boxes across. And um, now let's do our main base of the clock. So what we have is we have right here. That's probably about centered. So then we're going to do 12, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve again. So then we're going to write a big circle in here. So we have twelve dots. Make sure you have those. And we're doing one big center dot so we can hold. So let's just say it is a about one. One. Fifteen. So as you can see barely, that one clock line is larger than the other. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to draw like a little outline, like so, like a little triangle. And then we have dots, two dots or three. Three going the long way and two going the short way. And the way we have this way is we're going to, like, make these little, like, things going out. Like, they're kind of, like, sharp little razors. Oops, that one. Okay, so I kind of messed up on that one, but, you know, it's okay. And so now we're done with the base, like the clock part, and we are going to just draw more humps and color those in. And, and oh, so we're going to actually now split this in three ways. It's okay if one's bigger than the other. But then we're going to do lines going up. Okay, and then we're just going to make little lines going across it. And now we are going to outline it. Sorry. And this is what our should, your should look about like. And now we are going to just outline it. And my friend over here, she actually is taking requests for animals. So now let's outline it. OK, 
Okay, so let's outline all this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exactly how you, like, started off with it. But when, uh... Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to hurry this up. But, like, you want to make... When you get to the part where the lines have to be, like, very... Like, when you have straight lines, that's when I would be very careful. Because you, if you bump into something or something like that, it just messes the whole thing up. And then it's all horrible. One, two, three. Hey, it's kind of like sloppy writing that would be fake on something, you know? So let's make our little square boxes in there. And after this, we are going to erase everything. And as we get down, the marker actually dries off, so it's good. Let's make our other squares. I'm actually not going to do the line across because I chose not to because I don't like that design. So now we've got our clock. Okay. Okay, now let's draw our little, I mean outline our little, triangles, so I, I wanted to say squares like really bad, but I knew they weren't squares. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Make sure you just have like double check if you have twelve. And now let's draw our humps, I mean outline. And I have already drawn Lady Liberty, so if you want to, you can go check that video out. Line, 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 scribble, 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 line, line, scribble, scribble, line, scribble, and then we have three more lines, scribble, scribble, scribble. Okay, and now it's time to erase, and I'll show you what it looks like when it is done being outlined. And the reason why I'm not using, like, very good techniques, because I want you not to, like, spend all this money on, like, really fancy art stuff. Because, look, if when this turns out, it's just kind of amazing what you can do with just a couple materials that you probably have around your house. Like, you probably have some colored pencils and a Sharpie and a um, piece of paper. It doesn't matter what type of paper, whatever you wish. There's no, like, suggestion. I mean, there's no, like, forcing of you. So this is what my final looks like. Well, not final, but what it looks like. And now let's get on to coloring it. Okay, so I haven't gotten mine up, but actually I have erasable crayola ones. So I'm just going to dump them all out and see what I got. So normally the big den is like this light brownish color, but near the um, clock it's black. So we already outlined the clock, so let's draw in those little humps that you have everywhere. And yeah, so we have about, I don't know, 10 of these humps. And honestly, I kind of followed some of these rules from a video. I kind of liked his ideas. But it was like draw easy art or something like that. And it, he's, he's amazing. And let's draw these little squares in black. There's no recommendation. I mean, there's no like forcing of how many 
squares you can do, you can do as many as you want. So now I have um, this light brown. It is called light brown. <laughs> And so we are going to color the tippy top part of the clock with it. It's like very faint though. And yeah, let's do, how about we do that all the way down to this part? Like color it in until you get to the clock. I kind of over, overlapping the squares with coloring. Because, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, and I like it this way. Alright, keep coming it in. Okay, now that we finished coloring it in here, um, we are going to get a, like, this is just called brown. And I think I'm going to do this all around the clock, like this part area, because it turns out really brown. Color that all in, except please do not get it in the clock, because the clock is, clocks are normally just supposed to be, um, especially the London Tower clock. Is just supposed to be white and um, black because we don't want it to be like a brown clock because that's just sad. So now that we've gotten that all done, but that's the good news about erasable pencils. Like you can erase it. Okay, so actually let's draw this dark brown and then we'll do the rest light brown and yeah so I'm just kind of scribbling it in it doesn't have to be perfection and now it's time to use the light brown again and color that all in mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot one step. I'm sorry. We are going to do one last thing, and then we are done. And we'll just use this with marker, but if you want to use it with pencil, go ahead. So now that I've finished this, we are actually going to draw some clouds in the back. So let me get this going. Okay, so... I'm going to draw the this cloud, and then let's just draw some little birds, you know? And here is our final clock. So, I'm Anna, and thanks for watching my video on how to draw the Big Ben. Bye!